Hey guys, we are back. We're still doing lesson three, but we're on part two of lesson three. So where we left off yesterday, or the last time that you watched this, was that we made the X marks the spot for the map, and we made the um, the main part that's going to go with the sail on the boat. So we're going to continue making the boat this morning, um, and this is what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and go over, first of all, if, if you need a refresher, you should have L3 end open and you should have the map edges open. And then you should have your document open that's called postcard. Um, and don't forget, you can find all of these by going to File Explorer, down to the V drive, uh, ME2 folder, look in either graphic design or principles of art, whichever class you're in, and go to the Illustrator Lessons and Lesson 3, and it's right there for you. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, we're gonna come over to the shapes. You can either click and hold, or you can right click. We're gonna choose the ellipse tool. Now the ellipse tool works two ways. You can drag it and create an ellipse, or if you hold down the shift key, it creates a perfect circle. I'm gonna get rid of these because we're gonna do a specific one. So we are going to just click and drag. We want a specific measurement. We want our ellipse to be um, one and a half inches wide and half an inch tall. So as we drag, we want one and a half inches wide. It's kind of tricky getting it sometimes just right and half an inch tall. Oh, there it is. And it can be close enough. If it's not exactly right, that's perfectly fine um, because it'll still look fine. We're just doing we're just doing practice with doing these lessons. Okay, we want to fill this with the same uh, color that we filled the brown. So make sure that it's selected with the selection tool, which it is. I'm going to come over with the eyedropper tool and suck up the brown from here. So again, I chose the eyedropper tool right here. And then I sampled that brown and it turned it brown there. All right, I'm going back to my selection tool, shortcut V. And I want to make a copy of this that we're going to use later that will change for the bottom of the boat. Um, so what we're going to do is you can go several ways to make a copy. You can go to edit, edit, copy, edit, paste. You can do control C, control V. Or if you have this selected, you can hold down the alt key and just drag over to the side and that will make a copy. So all three ways will make a copy for you. Um, I'm going to zoom out for a minute. I'm just going to drag this over. We don't need it right now. I'm going to get it out of the way, but we're going to save it there for later because we're going to use it later. All right, I'm going to zoom back in, Control Plus. Um, or you could use your magnifying glass and you could draw the area you want to zoom into. Either way works. Um, Okay, so we're now going to work with this to make it the bottom of the boat. So it's selected with a selection tool and you'll see that this little widget appears on the right hand side. Um, you're going to click it and you're going to drag it straight across so that it is even. Let go. And it's now made the bottom of the boat shape. Uh, we want to rotate it. So if you go up to the corner and you see that it turns to that shape right there, we're gonna rotate it around to 180 degrees. And we now have the bottom of our boat. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit, control minus. Okay, and I'm going to move this up a little bit. And then I'm gonna move the bottom of my boat over. I want it to be right in the center and our smart guides help us line it right up. Perfect. Just to make sure nothing shifts on us, let's go ahead and do File, Save. All right, now it's time to bring this copy over that we did before. I'm gonna hold down, if you hold down the space key um, or space bar, it allows you to switch to the hand tool, which is right here, and it allows you to grab your document and move it over. So I'm gonna bring that copy over. I'm going to zoom in, control plus to zoom in, and I'm going to use the space key, drag down a little bit, and we're going to take this copy and we're going to line it back up over um, the original, and smart guides help us line it up. We want to change this a little bit, so I'm going to have you select a darker brown, so double click on your fill, and let's choose a darker brown color. Anything like that looks good, so go ahead and select OK. 
and we want our stroke to be a lighter brown color because um, we're going to do like a highlight with that. So come over to the stroke and double click it and let's choose a lighter brown color. Maybe something like that looks good. All right. And now that we have those two, we're going to adjust it so that it's just the top ellipse of our boat. All right, we're going to drag the top part of our ellipse down. So as we drag, we want to hold down um, the Alt key, and that's going to resize both sides at the same time. And we want to drag it till we get to 0 0.1 inch. So I'm holding down the Alt key. I'm dragging it. I want to get to... Um, a height of 0 0.1 inch. There we go. Okay, there we go. Now you can see that it's kind of made this nice um, shade for the top of our boat. I do want to make the stroke a little bit thicker, so I'm going to go over and get the color out of the way, go to properties, and it's still selected. So here's our stroke and our strokes right here. I want to change the stroke weight to about a 2. That's just going to emphasize that a little bit more. And if I click off and I look at it, it looks pretty good. I might want my stroke to be a little bit lighter, so I'm going to go back to my stroke here, double click it, and maybe just make it a little brighter. And I'm happier with the way that that looks. Okay, so I want to arrange um, the rectangle. Right now you can see that it's behind it, and I want it to be in the center of the boat because it wouldn't be behind the boat. So I'm going to click the rectangle, and I'm going to go, I'm going to right click it, I'm going to go to Arrange, and I'm going to choose Send Backwards. Oh, sorry. I did that completely opposite. I'm going to click Arrange, and I'm going to choose Bring to Front. There we go. All right, so now we have our um, rectangle on the inside of our boat, so it looks a little more like it should look, and we're going to go ahead and save this. Let's go to File, Save. Okay guys, we're done with the boat for right now. Um, we're gonna come back to it later so we can just leave it here. We're gonna work on a couple other things and then we'll come back to the boat after you've learned some more tools. So we're gonna work with um, the ellipse tool again, but we're gonna do a perfect circle. So we're clicked on it and as you drag, click and drag, I want you to hold down the shift key. And what we're looking to do is to create a width and height of about one inch. As we go along, keep going, keep going. There we go. Perfect. One inch. All right. Now that we have that, <clears throat> we're going to adjust it a little. Okay. We're going to adjust this by still having the ellipse tool selected. We're going to go up to the corner, um, hold down shift and alt at the same time, shift and alt. And what it's going to do is keep it uh, constricted to a perfect circle again as we adjust. And we want to go to about 0.3 inches. And we're going to change the color here. So release the mouse key and all the keys. Um, we're going to go to we're going to go to the fill, and up here we're going to choose a different color. So you can double click here; um, it'll bring it up. We want a CMYK. We want we're going to type it in zero zero zero, and we want our K to be ten. And that'll give us a really light gray color, and we're going to use this as part of our bones for later. So <clears throat> that's the color that we want. Once you have that, let's go ahead and do File and Save. All right, we're going to use the polygonal tool, and what we're going to do next is to make... Um, show you guys. We're going to be making these uh, diamond shapes. So the circle that we made earlier is going to actually be one of these little circles that are going to go with the bones. Right now we're going to do the diamond shape. So let's go back to our um, <clears throat> file. Okay, so we're going to right click over top or you can press and hold over top the shapes and we're going to choose polygonal tool. Now the way the polygonal tool works is that as you click and drag, if you press the up arrow, it gives you more sides. If you press the down arrow, it gives you less sides. We want a five-sided polygon. So we're going to click it like that. That's perfect. Um, I'm going to drag this over just a little bit so we have some working space. And I'm also going to go ahead and move my circle out of the way. I'm going to click and drag my sailboat and move that out of the way just to get myself some more space and clean up everything nice and tidy. There we go. And I'm going to zoom out a little bit. 
All right, so I want to make sure that this uh, looks a specific way. Um, remember, as you work, you always have the option of turning on Smart Guides or turning them off. So Smart Guides, if you click them off, you no longer get the helpful little magenta lines. I like them on. There's very rare time that I turn them off, but I just want to remind you guys that you have that option. So I'm going to turn mine back on because I do actually like it. Let's change the color um, and check. Well, check it first. It might be right. I'm reading from the from the textbook here when I talk to you guys. So um, sometimes if there's a little bit of a hesitation, I'm just checking my notes to make sure I'm following the lesson correctly in case you're following along in the book instead of following the tutorial. All right, so we're gonna make this a little bit darker of our color. We want zero, 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 and instead of 10, we're gonna choose it to 30. And that's gonna give us a little darker of a shade for our diamond. I'm moving around too fast. And also I wanna show you how to adjust this. So instead of having um, five sides, I wanna take this down to a triangle. And so now that it's already been drawn, you ask yourself, well, how do you do that? Um, it's pretty easy. There are widgets that will allow you to do Okay, if you look around here, um, you see this one right here. It looks different than the other anchor points. And as you hover, it says plus and minus. This is the one that's gonna allow you to change. So if you're on your selection tool and you click it, you can go um, one way for more and one way for less. Maybe if I can get mine to work, there we go. <laughs> Instead of six sides, we actually wanna make ours three sides. So just click it and drag down and it'll allow you to do uh, three sides to make it a triangle. Um, and we want to try to make this a width of 1.2 inches and a height of 0.8 inches. So using this tool, I'm gonna rotate my triangle around like this. Okay, and now I want to adjust it so that it has the right height. So I'm gonna drag this corner one and make it the right size for me. So again, I want a width of 1.2 inches. So as I drag, I want my width to be 1.2. I gotta move this out of the way. Almost there, almost there. This is needing me to zoom out. There we go. A width of 1.2 and I want my height to be 0.08. I meant 0 0.8, sorry guys, I said 0 0.08, I meant 0 0.8. There we go. All right, perfect. I'm gonna move my triangle over here. And again, I'm just gonna do file save. It's just good to save off. All right, we are gonna make a copy <coughs> of this triangle. So using your selection tool, make sure it's selected. And we're gonna go to object, transform, and we want reflect. Now, we want the horizontal option because we want the top and the bottom. So once you have that selected, you're gonna hit copy. And it now makes um, this kind of a copy. We're gonna drag the top one down to the bottom till it kind of snaps the two of them together. If you have your smart guides turned back on, there we go. Okay, we're gonna select with our selection tool the top triangle. And then we're gonna go ahead and switch <coughs> excuse me, to the eraser tool. And <clears throat> what we're gonna do is to go ahead and drag this eraser tool straight across. It's gonna cut part of it off, and um, then we'll be able to have more of a diamond shape for what we want. So what I need you guys to do, as you use your eraser tool <clears throat> and you drag it across, you're gonna need to hold down the shift key, and you're gonna drag from left to right. You're gonna release the mouse first. So if I hold down shift, and I drag it. Pay attention to where the crosshairs are in the very center. That's where it's gonna cut. We're gonna just gonna go, whoops. Okay, my eraser tool is looking a little funky. So double click on the eraser tool and make sure that your size is lower um, <clears throat> because mine was way, way, way high. And I'm just gonna make my angle 100%. Let's try it now. That's still a little big for me. I'm going to make it, I'm going to double click this again and bring my size down maybe to like eight points. Much better. Okay. On the eraser tool, holding down the shift key, we're going to just straight go through and we're going to take and click off to the side. We'll be able to select this triangle at the top and hit delete. 
And we now have this separate triangle right here, which we're gonna then change the color. So let's double click this and let's change the CMYK. So we want it to be um, zero, 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 and at the bottom we want five. And we're gonna click okay. All right, so what we should now have is this nice diamond shape here. Let's go ahead and click File and Save. Okay guys, as promised, I was gonna keep your tutorial short, so this one's only 15 minutes. Um, I'm gonna stop us right here. We will pick back up with this um, for the next tutorial. Why don't you go ahead and save everything if you haven't already, make sure it's saved into your student folder, and we'll move back on tomorrow.